Hi, I'm Julia. I'm the visual content creator who is going to respond to fashion trends I found on my Instagram feed and explore page. But before I'm going to do that, I'm going to shortly introduce myself for anyone who doesn't know who I am or people who used to watch my channel because I used to make fashion and beauty related videos on this channel. I started doing that in 2009 and I used to upload like three times a week, but my last upload was eight years ago. Um, so fast forward to what happened in those eight years is um, I'm currently a visual content creator at a university where I make YouTube videos, TikToks and Instagram posts about the research we do at the university. And aside of making content, I also do the strategies for their social media platforms to organically grow their following and reach. So that's my job currently in a nutshell. But what I do miss in my current job is the whole fashion related part. And since I already had the equipment, I was like, why not? Just make a video and see where it goes. Make a small comeback to this channel and see how everything's going. I'm definitely not going back to uploading three times a week. I don't even know if I'm going to upload another video after this. It depends on if I like doing it and if people are interested in watching it. For anyone wondering, clearly I have an accent and I'm clearly Dutch. For anyone wondering why I make videos in English when it's not like, I'm not the best at it. It's because my analytics show that 30% of my viewers are in the US and 5% in the UK. So it felt more logical to do it in English. And also I started out YouTube in a time where there wasn't really a market for Dutch fashion and beauty related content. So my whole account is in English. That's why, and for anyone who knows me in real life, they know that I also have an accent in Dutch. My pronunciation and my grammar in Dutch is also really good. So it's like potato, potato. So let's just go to Instagram and see which fashion trends we find for the upcoming season. And one of the uh, Accounts I really like, even though it's satire, I really like shit bloggers posts. Their format is finding all of these different influencers posts and finding similarities in them and then posting in, in a carousel on Instagram and it's really funny, but also somehow I always get inspired. Let's just jump into it. The things I see are leather jackets and I love leather jackets. What I also see is that a lot of people are starting to wear pink a lot again and I actually like the vibe of this type of pink and just the whole pink outfit and elements from your outfit like your socks matching with your sweater. I think that's really cute. What I also like is the suits with uh, sneakers. I like when the athleisure comes into the more formal wear. I like the mix between those two, but that's something I also like to wear. So maybe that's why I love that a lot. I also like leather jackets lately, but I don't want to buy them, but I used to wear them a lot. What I also love is these body warmers. I wear them a lot, oversized, just the right fit. And I really like that the trend is coming back every spring because that's a perfect season for body warmers, if you ask me. I also like the platform Uggs. I have them, I wear them sometimes because they're not really practical and comfortable. Like comfortable to walk in, they're comfortable on the feet, but when you have to run for like a train or something, it's not really practical. Oh my god, I love this. I love at leisure. I love leg warmers. Uh, I got like those quilted leg warmers and I love them, but they're so old, so they're not very practical to wear since the winter wasn't that cold here. But I love an overall all black at leisure type of look. I also like it in pink, but I wouldn't wear it myself in pink. I have it in white. I'm always so scared that white gets really dirty really quickly and I'm not like, I spill food a lot. Something else I saw, which I thought it was funny because like last summer I was walking around in 
those shorts that boxers wear. And now I see like this, this ad of G-Star everywhere of shorts that boxers wear, but then with like a really big G-Star logo on it. But I got it in a thrift store for like, I think five euros. And it's just, it looks really good on me. And I just absolutely love it. But everyone is like super confused. So everyone asked me, do you box? So I like the idea that's like those sporty kind of shorts are getting in style because they're so comfortable and they look good. One trend I don't like, and I see this a lot, are cowboy boots. And in red especially, because red is not a color I wear, red is not a color that looks good on me. Um, so this is a trend I definitely won't skip. I know a lot of people like to wear cowboy boots and they probably look really good in it, but to me I don't really like it, so I'm definitely going to skip the trend. But let me know in the comments down below if you like the trend. And then another account that really spots trends but in Paris is the Style Archives and they make reels so let's watch a few of those videos. I don't like the whole skirts over pants style and I don't really feel the vibe of it. I don't like that it's getting back in style. I'm actually old enough to remember when it was in style and I didn't participate in it. I actually had some friends ask about the trend and I was like mm, I didn't participate in it because those friends are younger and I was like, mm, no, don't like it. And they were like, oh, I love it a lot. I don't actually wear jeans, so I didn't like the vibe back then. Maybe I will turn around when it's worn with leggings or something that I think like these people wear that would actually pants, baggy pants. I'm like, okay, maybe. I actually like that people wear the bag on the back. I I think that's really cute because we wore it on the front a lot past seasons but now the back on the back it makes more sense I like that so now that we've looked at some styles I want to say what like what I'm, I'm hyped for to come back in this season is more at leisure wear but like mixed with more formal wear, more like girly, bow, pink kind of vibes. What well, I'm actually wearing right now, so a sports sweater and a bow. A whole video where in which like in six minutes I show you all the bows I have and I've got rid of them all. And when I saw the bows I were getting back in style, I was like, okay, I need bows. And now I'm like, I wear a lot of bows again. So maybe that's also why I was like, let's come back to YouTube. So yeah, I think that's everything for today. Um, we analyzed some styles, but I really la would love to hear what your favorite trend is for the coming season and which styles I should analyze next. I'm actually hoping that the new season of Emily in Paris is coming out really soon because I would love to analyze that. I love watching videos in which people analyze her style and I would also love to do that as well. I would like to yeah, analyze more of those fashion series but let me know in the comments down below what I should analyze next and I don't know. That was it I think. Thanks for watching and if you made it all the way to the end, I don't know. Thanks. Bye.